William Chandler Bagley, one of the important historical essentialists who completed his undergraduate degree at Michigan Agricultural College in 1895. It wasn't until after finishing his undergrad studies that he truly wanted to be a teacher. William Bagley was claimed as the father of philosophy of essentialism in education. He was born on March 15, 1874 in Detroit, Michigan. He popularized the term essentialism in the year 1930. He believed that the major role of the school is to produce a literate, intelligent, electorate students. He even argued electives while stressing thinking skills to help students apply their academic knowledge, not just along the process of their learning, but after finishing their studies. He promoted a core of traditional subjects as essential to a good education the goal of which is the development of good citizens who will be useful to the society. He even believed that education should be available to all and opposed the use of standardized tests that were biased against minority groups. Bagley's views of the importance of maintaining the authority of the teacher and principal of the school was to emphasize the importance of obedience by students to the authority, provided a strong contrast to the egalitarian view of progressives. He regarded education as the method of passing and the knowledge of the society to the next generation. Bagley believed that obedience is the key through the process, and the process was obedience of students to the teachers and the teachers to the principal. He viewed the goal of education, and it was to create the socially efficient individual and become one of those useful part of the society. Education should lead toward the formation of a just, more equal, and more humane society. And that's why Bagley created essentialism for us to know how essential are we in this society. That would be all. Thank you.